Hello YouTubers, this is the uh, miniatures from Gears of War the board game by Fantasy Flight Games. Um, the box comes with about 47 minis I think, it's quite a lot in there. Um, this is going to be a basic, basic overview of how um, I went about painting them, some experimenting I did and uh, the results I managed to achieve. Um, this is the first half, a lot of minis so I've done them in two halves. This is the first section and uh, follow, another video will follow with the rest of the minis at a later date. Um, I started by doing all the shadows and all the undersides with uh, whole red from Vallejo Air. Just using the whole red to hit all the places where there isn't going to be much light. So basically the entire underside of the model. I did the same for the wretches, basically their skin tone. Uh, it was a bit difficult to see the colour of their skin really, um, so I've gone for a kind of deep fleshy tone. I did the same for the tickers as well, um, basically trying to get our shadows in place early on. This is where I started to hit the miniature with uh, some subtle highlights. This is the first highlight. This is Fire Red from Vallejo. Any skin areas, um, I just hit the upper part of the model, making sure to leave the dark areas underneath. Now I'm going in with uh, light red. This is just another skin tone, uh, another red skin tone. Not really much artwork for these um, miniatures and what colours are supposed to be. Um, so you see them with uh, human skin tones or fleshy skin tones or uh, slightly grey zombie-like skin tones. Um, I started to brighten this one up with some pink and things like that to, to try and make his skin more fleshy and more pinky. I uh, didn't particularly like the result. So we continue to, I just continued to brighten them up. I felt the, uh, the final highlight of light red wasn't bright enough for the skin. So I continued to hit him with the pinky colour just to, just to bring his skin tone right up a little bit from the darkness that it was. As you can see, he's a little bit too pink. He looks a bit sunburned. Now I had some uh, army painter, quick shade hanging around, and I thought, well, just for these, I'll give the quick shade a quick blast and see how that see how that goes, because I've used it a couple of times on some orcs, 
uh, just to get some quick results. Um, so I dipped these models this time uh, just to see what sort of results we would get after the initial uh, colours were in place. Uh, didn't like it. It took away loads of features, took away loads of detail, uh, it didn't really give me that good shades anyway so um, I won't be using that again I don't think, not on any miniatures that I'm trying to paint to make, make them look reasonably good. Um, after the dipping, which took about 27 hours, 28 hours to dry, um, I didn't like the colour of the mini, so I decided to bring his skin tones right up um, in line with some more of the artwork that I found online. Um, this is Tan Earth, uh, and what I'm doing basically is I'm putting a very, very light coat with the, with the airbrush, trying to let some of the reds and pinks uh, and the darker tones show through. Um, but using the tan earth as a uh, like an overcoat, a, a very fine top coat, small over like an overbrush. So we can still see the reddish colours below, and we can see the you know the true colours below. But we're bringing them up, and there you can see this is uh, more tan earth. And, you know, completely changed the look of the model. And basically, uh, even his underside uh, with the whole red, I'm just giving a very, very light dusting of tan earth just to just to bring his skin tone, so there's not too much of a difference between the upper and lower parts of his body. Um, this I did this for all miniatures, so this is the tickers, and they get just a, a small blast quick highlight. So not there, you know, all the models match and all their skin tones match. with some matte varnish just to make sure uh, we get rid of all the, the dip, the army painter dip which is a gloss finish of course when, when you gloss uh, when you dip a model the finish is gloss it's like a hard varnish and there he is he's uh, looking a bit better he's been Got a matte varnish coat on him, just doing his met his uh, his metal work. So this is the um, base steel. This is Vallejo natural steel. This color just going on his chains. There's not much not much not much detail on this miniature. So it was all about the skin really. No artwork for these, so the tickers just basically looks like they got metal heads, like a hand grenade, I think. So, base color, Vallejo natural steel. I suppose the wretches, um, I don't know, base clothing. So all their clothing is uh, black gray from Vallejo, and. Uh, They've got metal part, metal armor all over their clothing as well. That was, I've done that with a dark uh, metal called uh, Gun Metal Metalizer. Again, from Vallejo, it's basically a, a very dark metallic color. Give the clothing a quick dry brush. This is a dry brush with cold grey, just to give some difference in shade and, and highlight. The problem with the dip is that you lose detail. Um, so, is you know, there's there's a lot of detail lost on these miniatures purely because the varnish sits very very heavily on the mini. And um, we're supposed to flick it out to get the dip off, but. Um, I use a brush just to try and mop the, the dip off rather than flick them out. 
but I think, you know, we were experimenting. What have we got? This is um, a sepia wash. So, so because he's kind of glowing a little bit with his colours, let's get some. Uh, let's get. Some, basically, I'm ignoring the dip completely and trying to reapply my shadows with some washes and good old-fashioned ways of doing it. So this is a nice sepia wash, which again is going to bring his skin tones down a bit. Uh, I'm not trying not to let it puddle on his wider areas. Make sure it sits in the recesses and 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 it doesn't puddle on his thighs or his chest or anything like that. Because um, when wash dries uh, on open planes, it leaves watermarks, which can look hard. Um, that's the uh, the gargantuan finish. So a bit of bow red. Yeah, Games Workshop Citadel red wash. So all these open wounds on his legs, all the big gashes. Um, just keep reapplying wash into those areas. Have a nice red wash in order to get in order to make them look like nasty open wounds and a bit of soreness in there. Um, this is uh, GW Undercut Black, uh, watered down 2 to 1. Obviously painting the minis when they're fixed to a base like this isn't ideal. Um, that's the finished miniatures. Uh, not that, you know, quick, fairly quick to paint. The biggest problem I had was trying to sort out their skin tones, trying to get their skin tones the correct colour, um, making sure that um, it looks half decent. I, you know, I don't even know what colour these locusts are supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be grey. Or grey, a grey skin, fleshy tone. So um, doesn't matter. I'm going to say they're about done. Um, they look quite, quite gritty and quite grimy, and you know the finish isn't that bad on them. Um, the de level of detail, uh, the dip, the army painter dip, definitely lost some detail on that. Um, I won't be using it again for miniatures of this size. Maybe if I had a ton of orcs to do, I would be tempted to dip them and and really give them a a smashing outside to get all the excess dip off, but you live in there. Uh, this is the other half of the models from the set. So we've got a boomer and uh, well, I can't remember what he's called. But we've got some other models to paint. Um, they're quite nice casts, so they'll be coming up soon. Thanks for watching this little video. These models will not be for sale. These are going to purely be for personal use. Um, if you have a board game and you'd like your models painted, um, come on over to www.smallrobot.co.uk.